Shalom and good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcasting to you from Jerusalem. And in today's top stories, thousands of Palestinians gather near Gaza's border with Israel as part of weekly demonstrations during which they demand the demise of the Jewish state and an immediate return of all Palestinians to lands they claim to have owned. U.S. President Donald Trump says he will make a decision very soon about pulling American troops out of Syria. A decision he stresses will be made in coordination with American allies across the region. Iranian Defense Minister Amir Hatami warns that deep tension among regional players threatens stability across the Middle East. That after Israeli Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman reiterates Israel's resolve in thwarting Iran's aspiration to create a forward base against the Jewish state in Syria. Thousands of Palestinians gathered near Gaza's border with Israel as part of weekly demonstrations during which they demand the demise of the Jewish state and an immediate return of all Palestinians to lands they claim to have owned. Today's demonstration was dubbed Tire Friday, in which thousands of tires were put ablaze in an effort to hinder the vision of Israeli snipers tasked with thwarting Palestinians from crossing into Israeli territory. <laughs> The organizers of the protests, directed by the Islamist Hamas organization which controls the Palestinian enclave, have vowed to continue their struggle until Israel retreats from what they define as Palestinian lands, vowing not to rest until every inch of land is returned. <laughs> الثابت الثالث والمقدسات القدس والمساجد والكنائس أرضنا لا نتنازل عنها الشعب قرر اليوم العودة إلى قرى ومدنه ومقدساته والانعتاق من حياة المخيمات التي ذابت فيها القضية الفلسطينية Israel's military spokesperson's unit released a statement with regard to today's protest, saying violent clashes were taking place in five locations along the Gaza Strip since this morning, in which hundreds of Palestinians participated. IDF forces consequently have been deploying crowd control measures and live fire in accordance with the army's rules of engagement. Uh, this is a travesty for the Palestinian people that the Hamas government is encouraging its people to attack Israel, is encouraging its people to commit acts of violence, and encouraging them to actually storm into Israel to try to destroy Israel and kill as many people as possible. It's outrageous and it needs to stop now. Now with regard to the conflict in Israel's northern neighbor, Syria, U.S. President Donald Trump said he will make a decision very soon about pulling American troops out of Syria. A decision he stressed will be made in coordination with American allies across the region. As far as Syria is concerned, uh, our primary mission in terms of uh, that was getting rid of ISIS. We've almost completed that task and we'll be making a decision very quickly in coordination with others in the area uh, as to what we'll do. President Trump stressed that the imminent pullout comes after 17 years of American deployment across the Middle East, in which Washington spent some $7 trillion and in return has not received anything substantial. You're inclined to pull the troops out? I want to get out. I want to bring our troops back home. I want to start rebuilding our nation. We will have, as of three months ago, $7 trillion dollars in the Middle East over the last 17 years. We get nothing, nothing out of it, nothing. Well, President Trump cited mainly economic reasons for his aspired pullout. The Pentagon director of the Joint Chiefs, Lieutenant General Kenneth McKenzie, emphasized that nothing has changed with regard to America's military presence in Syria, emphasizing that the expected adjustments with regard to military deployment coincides with the final stages of destroying the physical caliphate of the Islamic State in the war-torn country. 
we've always thought that as we reach uh, as we as we reach finality against ISIS in Syria, we're going to adjust the level of our presence there. So in that sense, nothing actually has changed. I would tell you that we're very close to completing the final end of the caliphate, the physical caliphate in uh, in Syria. While an American pullout from Syria will be warmly welcomed by the Syrian government, Russia and Iran, the special U.S. envoy for the global coalition against Islamic State, Brett McGurk, emphasized earlier this week that the United States will remain in Syria until the mission to eradicate the Islamic State is complete, while stressing that the mission is not over. In Moscow, however, military chief of Russia's main operations of the general staff, Lieutenant General Sergei Rutskoy, claimed that the defeat of the Islamic State is imminent, while emphasizing that the next stage of advancing a process for a peaceful settlement of the conflict is at hand. The statement by the Russian general was contested, however, by Iranian Defense Minister Amir Hatami, who warned that the Islamic State still retains its destructive potential. Minister Hatami further noted that deep tension among regional players threatens stability across the Middle East. متاسفانه باید بگم که با چنین شرایطی ما با ثبات همچنان فاصله داریم چرا که نه کار گروه‌های تروریستی و داعش به طور کامل تمام شده و نه تنش‌های منطقه‌ای عمیق بین بازیگران منطقه‌ای و فرامنطقه‌ای چشمانداز روشنی را فرا روی تحقق امنیت منطقه قرار می‌دهد. With regard to Iran's ballistic missiles program, which has threatened the Islamic Republic with new international sanctions by Western powers, the Iranian top defense official emphasized that his country has a natural right in developing what he referred to as a deterrent defense power to assure Tehran's capacity to confront various new threats. The Islamic Republic of Iran's defense and defense به ویژه در حوزه موشکی را حق طبیعی خود در دفاع مشروع منطقه‌ای می‌داند و توسعه و تقویت آن را برای مقابله با تهدیدات متنوع و نوظهور ضروری می‌داند و با قاطعیت آن را پیگیری خواهد کرد. The comments by the Iranian Defense Minister, which were made at the Moscow Conference on International Security, did not impress his Israeli counterpart, who reiterated Jerusalem's position, in which Israel will not allow the Islamic Republic to gain a military foothold in Syria. Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman stressed in an interview to Army Radio that Jerusalem will use all the tools at its disposal to assure its red lines are capped, and will take the necessary measures to thwart Iranian attempts to create a forward base in Israel's northern neighbor Syria. Lieberman emphasized that any attempt to harm Israel will be met with a forceful and devastating response. Thank you for watching us. You can also watch us at tv7israelnews.com or tv7.fi. For any comments, please send your emails to israelnews at tv7.fi. For more updates from Israel and the region, please join our Facebook page at TV7 Israel News. Keep praying for the peace of Israel and the peace of Jerusalem. Jonathan Hassan, have a Erev Tov and Shabbat Shalom. We will see you again on Monday at the same time.